What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to edit the mini bobblehead effect on your photos. Let's dive in. First things first, we're going to open up our file. We're going to go open and we're going to select our photo that we're going to use. This is the photo we took uh, of Cam Ball, a defensive lineman at the University of Arkansas. Next up, we're going to duplicate the image. So this basically hover over that layer, right click it, and then click duplicate layer. Here we go, click OK. So next we're going to select the subject with the object selection tool. It looks like that. AI will actually automatically discover the subject and fill it in in pink. So here we go, we got that. Now we're going to finalize that selection by clicking select and mask at the top. Looks pretty good. We're going to change our smooth to 19 as shown on screen and the shift edge to negative 41. We're going to go ahead and click OK. All right, now that our selection's made, we're gonna go ahead down there and click the mask layer button. That'll go ahead and lock in our, our layer mask. Funky, so we're gonna go ahead and reselect the mask with command or control left click to select the black mask layer. Then we're going to go down and click the bottom layer, layer zero. Now we're gonna go to select on the top bar, go to modify, go to expand, and make that 25 pixels. This will give us a little border around, which will allow us to work further. Now we're going to click generative fill and then click generate. Leaving the prompt box open allows the AI to go ahead and erase the subject that we have mapped. Now if we select that eye icon and make the top layer invisible, then we can select the variation that looks the best. Mm, I think I'm going to go with this first one probably. All right. So now that that's done, our next step is to click the eye logo and bring back the top layer. There we go. That's our guy. Now we're going to hold command or control T and this will allow us to resize the actual athlete. We're going to go ahead and make that really small. Find where you want to put them, test it out. I think I like this spot looks pretty good. Awesome. Now we're going to duplicate that layer, the top one of the little person. We're going to right click and we're going to click duplicate layer. There we go. Okay. Now we have two masks. We're going to go ahead and close the eye icon on the second layer just by clicking it. Now we're going to click the black box of the first layer. Should be seen. Now we're going to go down to the bottom and click subtract from mask. This will allow us to erase his body. This is where the head comes in. Make sure you do this. All right, almost done, almost done. This top is where it gets to personal preference. I like cleaning it up a lot as much as possible. Now we're gonna click the transform tool and then click the eye icon on the second layer. There we go. Now we have a separate mask of the head versus the body. Let's select that top layer and resize. Again, Command T, Control T. We're gonna go ahead and make this head really big. This allows the bobblehead effect to really work. All right, so I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and erase a little bit more under his head, so all I had to do was click subtract from mask like we did earlier, and clean up a little bit under that helmet. All right, there we go. Easy as that. I like how this is looking, looking good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and click that check mark up top, make our final adjustments, this could be to transform the body or the head, either or. And all right guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click subscribe if this video brought you any value at all. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll get back to you within the hour. Thank you.